Hello Aries, welcome to your energy reading for the week of the 3rd of October. I hope you're doing well. And this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. So we're going to see what the energy is like for you in this upcoming week. And let's pick three cards and we have six of crystals. Okay. And child of hearts. And we have Six of Wands. Okay, you seem to be going through an emotional time here, Aries. So um, Six of Crystals being emotional about your physical life, physical world, emotional about your professional life, emotional about money situation. So you might need to take some time off uh, before you make any major decisions, because when you're feeling emotional about it, you may not get very clear idea about what's going on. So do not make decisions when you are emotionally high or emo emotionally low. Make decisions when you are neutral emotionally, right? And then you get the clarity. So um, an emotional time usually means that, you know, other things are coming up. Um, shadow self, shadow energies, past happenings may have come up um, that, preventing you from seeing things clearly okay so you also have emotional time when it comes to claiming your creative energies your creativity or your life force feeling lacking of energy and very emotional about it right now being emotional is not a bad thing right i mean you just go into a metamorphosis you're going through this phase of growth and development and so allow it to happen it's not a bad thing we can't all be high and feeling good all the time. And, you know, you have two emotional cards. So this just means that you really need to pay attention to how you are viewing the world. You know, how you see other people, how you see situation could come from emotional shadow. And if there's no clarity in that area, then everything is contaminated. Your view of the world is contaminated. Your view of yourself and, you know, your life, your professional life, your physical world, everything gets contaminated because you have this card. This card is the child of hearts. Child of hearts always, you know, is always pointing towards the inner child. I think this is not your first time getting a card about talking about inner child healing. So you do need some time off, step away, learn to adopt a perspective where you're seeing things from a clear mind. And when you're emotionally stable, not high, not low, when you're stable. So nurturing of the inner child is very important. This card and energy calls for you to nurture the inner child. And if necessary, um, heal the inner child. You know, seek out a therapist or seek out someone to help you to heal this. Unresolved inner child issues that are, you know, um, uh, preventing you from seeing things clearly. All right, so go tend to that garden of the inner child. Have a break, go for a holiday, do something about this where you have time alone, right? And uh, see a therapist, see a healer, see someone to work through these issues because, you know, I feel this is a big opportunity for healing being presented, right? Six of crystals, six of wands, you know, both coming up at the same time. It's a very good opportunity for healing. So make use of it, right? It's a healing week. And um, let's see how this impacts you in your physical world. Let's pick some cards from here. So in your physical reality, let's see, we have reunion of souls. So maybe the emotional energy that you've been feeling is because you need to reconnect with your higher self, you know, sit down in meditation. Um, you may also reconnect with some uh, strong connections from past or people from your past. It's time to do that reconnection. And maybe the reconnection is making you emotional as well, okay? So let's see what the second card is for you, Aries. Divine timing, trust in divine timing. Divine timing is important. When the timing is right, everything falls into place. But again, do not force things to happen. Do not allow your emotions to dictate your decisions or dictate the direction to go. Because usually, you know, more often than not, um, it really doesn't lead you to the right path. Truth. Time to face the truth, right? So a lot of truth coming up for you this week. How this impacts your physical world. 
really is about you speaking the truth and being honest with self. This is the most important one, right? Honesty with self so that you can work with divine timing. You allow divine timing to guide you, guide the way. And um, let's see what is up for you from this deck, Aries. So Aries, if you need more clarity in your personal journey, and you can always book a private session, the details are down below. Have a look at the description box. And it says here, prosperity lies ahead. Nice one for you. All right, once you get through this hum, right, this phase of healing, prosperity lies ahead. And a new start is coming. Very nice. So this week, hang on to your seatbelt, go through this healing phase, everything will work out, right? Uh, but you must do something about it, right? It's, so this is about asking for help or seeing a therapist or seeing someone, right? It's not going to go away on its own and communication is key. So I feel the self-communication may be lacking, right? Communicate with self, communicate with therapist, communicate with healer, communicate with other people, heal those emotional wounds and things get better. Uh, whether in a family life or professional life, okay? Let's have an inspirational card for you, Aries, from the fairy deck. And we have come together. So this is like this card, right? The reunion of souls come together. What does it say? It says fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. So find your team. Who are your people? Right? Who are your people? Find your team, gather them, work together. And uh, no one is meant to work alone. No one is meant to, you know, you get more things done as a team. Okay, Aries, I wish you a wonderful week ahead. And um, I, you know, I really wish a, a wonderful healing week for you. Bye for now.